Welcome back to the racing team. I'm Nick. I'm Vic. And I'm Damien. Today we're going to show you Subaru DowerX STI Limited Edition. about this car uh, i brought this car brand new 2018 zero miles um so far it has 13,000 miles in the year i've had it so far no trouble no problem so far and um it's completely stock so this is the subaru dwx sti mm -hmm. limited limited 2018. edition fully loaded fully loaded and this is the 310 horsepower 310 right? yes it has six stars and rpm yeah all right so the engine is a boxer engine mm -hmm. we all know Subaru is using boxer engine 2.5 liter achieving the 310 horsepower at 6000 rpm mm -hmm. it has a lot of boost yes. it's an amazing car and it's really mean <laughs> <laughs> um, so <clears throat> why did you choose this car um i've always been a fan of Subaru since i was a young kid um, my best friend had the, the bug eye Subaru and um, when he when he got that Subaru it made me fall in love and always told myself that one day I'll get a Subaru <laughs> and it happened I got a 2018 Subaru STI so it's a dream come true <laughs> when you were shopping for this car did you consider any other cars no just this car <laughs> so you went to the dealership I want this car yes and I didn't want to leave without getting this car nice yeah, yeah this um, it actually achieves the uh, maximum speed. It, uh, it has uh, the maximum speed is 160 miles per hour. Limited, I think it's like computer limited because I see on the tachometer it's uh, 180 is the max speed. Mm -hmm. But I think it's um, so it's limited uh, electronically on 160 miles per hour. Uh, zero to 60 miles per hour achieved at 4.6 seconds. It's very impressive. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah i mean i've been driving this car for the past three minutes and it has the best feeling i've ever the shift, ever the, shifting too. The, the shift the, the shifting is really good i i mean i drove a 2013 that sti mm -hmm. shifting is not really never didn't really change yeah it's it has a very stiff um um clutch yeah like you said, yes, the sweet spot is around 3,000 RPM, and I mean, a lot of torque, a lot of uh, RPMs, it goes up to 7, 8, the speedometer is 180, but the tachometer goes on up to 8,000 RPM, mm -hmm. so you can breathe it. Um, what have you experienced so far in terms of 
you know pros and cons of the car what, um, what's good what's bad i mean obviously it's a new car yeah you've drove it only thirteen thousand. so far the only con i have it is a gas guzzler <laughs> um i have to pick gas in this car every three days um the tank is only 11 gallons so it's not a big tank um, oh really yeah so it's not a big tank so and then um so about two or three times a week i gotta fill gas up because you know this car sucks gas like a truck so <laughs> Literally, so um, but other than that, the pros it's a, it's a fun car to drive, you know. It's you know, especially when you go on the highway and you just want to have a little adrenaline, you know, downshift up, up the gear and you're feeling good. So, um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's pretty well, pretty, a lot of pros. Obviously, you don't buy this car for uh, gas economy, no, <laughs> you don't, <laughs> you buy it for fun. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. I love how the the layout dash, the AC controls, everything is very simple. Yeah. The infotainment system. We drove uh, the Acura, you remember? It was yes. so complicated. In order to change something, you have to go to the third screen in a menu, menu, menu in the third screen. Exactly. For the AC? That is uh, for AC, yeah, for heating wow. seats, for heating seats, everything. Cool seat, everything. Whereas here, I, I suppose, you have also hard, kind of like touch hard button. Yeah. Uh, and. Um, you know, you can control your mind through also the knobs. Yes, we do, we can do it over here. We also have heated seats as well. Okay. Over here, there's these little buttons, high or low. So both of these seats are heated seats. So tell me something, there's different modes here on the car. What does it change? Do you notice something? Because it changes probably the... Mm, it all depends. My, my favorite mode is the, the Sport Sharp. And the reason why I use that mode a lot is because right now it's a regular mode, but whenever okay. I like go on a highway, I go on Sport Sharp because it's very like smooth when it comes to switching gears. It's not it's not rough or anything. It's super smooth. Oh, really? um, and it the um, RPMs jump a lot with that one. So I, I recommend going on Sport Sharp. It's my favorite mode. Okay, so now think, right now it's on normal. Normal. It's on Sport. The, oh, okay. Right now it's on Sport. And What's the middle? Does it do anything or there's no No, middle? just no middle, just sport, uh, sport shot, which is the one I go to when I go on the highway. Okay. And then push intelligent, it's kind of, I guess if you want to save your gas a little bit, this is the best way to save it's your like gas. It's like an eco mode? Yeah. Just kinda, in a different way? Yeah, say? basically. So, okay. yeah, it's the, they call it intelligent mode, but it's basically like an eco mode, like you said. Um, you know, if you're going around the city and stuff like that, it's, it's the best mode to go on. Okay, does that come with the, is only the, the premium package that you have? No, the WRX also come with this. So, so a regular WRX has this mode. Okay. And then uh, STI regular, and then yeah. Man, so all the Subarus uh, WRXs have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, you, you can choose the. Yeah, you can change, change the, the diff. Yeah, so if you want, if I wanted to change right now, you can go. So right now it's on sharp mode. So you, you should see a difference when you're shifting gears. Okay. You, you definitely see a difference. Yep. Feel it? It's a little different. Oh yeah, it's a lot different. Yeah. It's more it's more cleaner. Yes, what it, 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 it is. It is cleaner, cleaner but cleaner. It, it revs the the RPMs uh, faster. Yeah, definitely. Like it has more throttle response. Yeah. yeah that's my favorite mode of all modes, that's my favorite mode. So yeah, that's sharp. Favorite part of this car? Uh, 
just the adrenaline, just you know, just going from second to third to fourth gear. You know, it's it's a <laughs> fun it's a fun car, man. I mean, it, it, I go through traffic with this car. You know, uh, I try not to go too fast, but it, with a car like this, it's hard not to go fast. So, yeah. Um, this is for all the manual uh, transmission lovers. Um, do you think that when you're stuck in traffic? Mm -hmm. uh, left ankle kind of gets tired. Oh yeah, it gets cramped sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I can't even feel my left leg. That's yeah, right. yeah. I, when I first got this car, it was, it was pretty tough because, you know, I went from auto, uh, a Hyundai Sonata to this car. So I went from a car being automatic to a uh, stick car. And especially in traffic, five o'clock traffic, my, my left leg would get stiff sometimes. Cause I had to go back to first gear, go back to neutral, go back to first gear, go back to neutral. Yeah. So, yeah. But after a while, my leg got used to it. Now it doesn't hurt as much. Now I'm, I'm more accustomed to it. But for anybody who's jumping into a, a stick car, the first couple months is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have to just get used to it. Other than that, I think the gas on this car, I think it's like, what, 14? I, I think I get about 14 miles per gallon in this car. And that's probably Yeah, I mean, by, I the, by the books, it says uh, 16 city and 21 or 22 uh, highway. Yeah, you definitely get more power. I don't know how, 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 much, how much you achieved on the highway. Highway, I haven't really gotten that high. I think the most I've gotten was probably like 18. I haven't really gotten that high on the highway. Um, but I know this car is better on the highway when it comes to gas. Uh -huh. But um, the most I think I've gotten was probably like 18 miles per gallon. Yeah, and yeah. I guess on six gear. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Pretty good. It's pretty, I mean, it's not. I mean, like you said, it, 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 you don't buy this car for uh, for gas. You buy this car for fun. Yeah, so. exactly. Um, yeah, I really like how the the, uh, the dashboard the, mm -hmm. like it looks aggressive. Yeah, it, has it gives you a lot of information. And um, the Subaru I, I drove before, it it was like beeping. Uh, when, um, how do you call that? It was beeping when to shift the gears. Do you have that on yours? No, I don't have that. The only thing, if the light were turned on, you'll see a light by the RPMs. Yeah. And if I'm going too long without shifting gears, like it's, it's it, going it to will be blink. Yeah. Oh, okay. It won't make no any noise or anything. You okay. You'll just see it on the dash. Okay. Yeah. Um, the the stick. Yeah, this is, is actually. Is it aftermarket? Yeah, this is aftermarket. I bought this online. That's not how it comes. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that it's like has like the Chinese. Yeah, uh, it's the Japanese. Plan. Japanese uh, numbers. Yeah, I bought it. Um, I bought it online. I think I have the stock one. Oh my god, that, uh, that, 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 that thing looks so bad. <laughs> it's a stock. Yeah. <laughs> how, how how many horsepower was uh, your friend's uh, Subaru? Well, they go up to thousand, but yeah. they modify. Like everything, yeah, yeah, everything. Modify the hell out of it, uh, and they spend a lot of money on that, of course. But uh, if you have warranty, keep it stock. Yeah, I'm just good. I think I have like another year of warranty. Um, recommend for everybody not to modify this car once you get it. They, these cars are very sensitive. You know, if you're gonna modify a part, you gotta modify something else, and that's why a lot of people have Subarus that you know crash and burn because. They don't know how to modify it correctly, so I am keeping it stock until my warranty goes out, and then once the warranty goes out, I'm gonna have some fun with this car. That's what are the plans? Yeah. What do you want to modify after the warranty? Well, when the warranty comes out, I definitely want to do um, a new exhaust system. Um, I want it louder. You know, I want I want it a, a more aggressive. I want to hear that rumble. You know, Subaru's known for that rumble. Yeah. Um, you can definitely hear the rumble a little bit, but I want that rumble going to be louder, so I'm um, definitely going to upgrade up the uh, exhaust system. Um, other than the exhaust system, um, probably put a colder intake. Um, you know, um, maybe, yeah. maybe a little blow off valve, you know, just hear that, uh, that flutter. The, the, yeah, when you put the cold air intake, you can hear the turbo yeah, louder. Yeah, you, you can hear the turbo definitely louder. That's what I want to hear. I should think you definitely hear the turbo. Yes, uh, exactly. Other than that, I mean, that's probably my top two that I want to first do in my car. I've always, when I when I've drove these cars, I've always 
thought when I'm putting it in gear, it's like I'm I'm worried I'm gonna put it instead of sixth. I'm <laughs> gonna put the reverse. <laughs> but I guess the reverse no, is the hard. Re no, the reverse you had to push just up. Oh, okay. So so it, you won't, won't go to reverse. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. Unless you pull it up. Yeah. Th yeah. This one. Yeah. 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 Okay. I was, I was scared of that too. Like when yeah, I, yeah. I do that while I'm driving, yeah. he's like, "No, you gotta pull it up." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, so that makes it a little better." <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, so we can talk a little bit about the repo that they had. Yes. Uh, the Subarus between 2013 and 2017. Uh, there was a lawsuit actually. It wasn't a repo. Well, it was a lawsuit that re that actually escalated into a repo. Mm -hmm. um, and back on what you said, Damien. Uh, when people buy a new Subaru, they don't know first of all how to modify it. Second of all, there's a braking period where you don't really want to modify a car at that braking point, uh, that braking period, which is uh, I don't know how many miles. Is, do you know? Well, they said they, they said to be safe, you should wait at least for uh, after a thousand miles okay. before yeah. doing anything. But uh, like I said, a lot of people don't wait and they, they want to uh, modify the car as soon as they get it. And then they end up here in knock. Yeah. And, and it's over. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So what basically when you hear the knock it's gone. Yeah. Done. When you hear the knock it's you know the, the final. But, yeah. Uh, the final knock. <laughs> yeah. Literally. So what happens with these cars between 2013 and 17? I heard they fixed that, but uh, metal parts from the inside of the engine mm -hmm. uh, just start floating around in the engine and it just blocks the engine, yeah, which causes it to fail. And they have to either rebuild, depending on how bad your engine is, mm -hmm. they have to even rebuild your engine or replace the entire engine. Yeah, they see it kept happening to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They, you know, filed a lawsuit, and then the models above, like after 2017, 18, and 19, I believe they fixed that issue. Yeah, so basically, the engine, the boxer engines, were not built properly. Yeah, they definitely fixed it. Uh, starting my year, that's when he fixed it. Yeah. Uh, thank God, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, so they fi they fixed it. Um, yeah, I think it was uh, the other another issue was um, one of the, also another problem with the older Subarus that the head gasket was one of the problems as well. So they fixed that. With well, my... the head gasket, uh, as far as I know, they, they were like uh, maintenance. You gotta change them every two thousand miles. Yeah. All the other like. They, they, yeah, that's expensive actually on the yeah, really Volkswagen. Yeah, that's yeah. really expensive. Really expensive. So what do you think about the steering wheel and the seating position? Do you like that? Because I love the steering wheel. Yeah, it's very it's more, it's very sporty. You know, it has a very grip, good grip on it, especially when I like turn. that you have all kind of buttons here, so you don't really need to get out of your hands and touch mm -hmm. the screen and stuff. Yeah, you can change the radio on there, or you can uh, lower the volume if you want to. Um, you can... Um, there's a phone on there, you can call with the phone on there. Um, you can adjust the gauge on here as well. If you want, you can like... If you push the gas a bit though, you can break your neck as well. <laughs> look, at, look at my gas mileage on average. Yeah, the, I mean, they, they put quite a lot of technology in the, in the car as well. Yeah. I really like the back wing. Can see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see that on the camera. They can see it. <laughs> yeah, if you have a bag wing, that, that nothing here is a big deal. You have the, <laughs> the SCI. So, what's your first impression when you start driving the car? What do you think about the drive being? I like the steering wheel, though. I think the steering wheel is very nice. Um, the shifter and the clutch they're really nice. They go that it's a short shift. Mm. It goes very quick. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, super. They they're really good with their manual transmissions like they have cvt but they're not as good as the manual they've been doing the manuals for years and years yes and i think that's their bread and butter and especially the four-wheel drive i agree and they have a lot of legacy with the with this particular model the subaru double x sti yeah mm -hmm. it's been out there in the rally world for i think colin mccree really was the one that made it actually great yeah. and yes since that day, I think they took off in sales. Mm -hmm. One day I want to bring this car in the dirt. Or the rally car. Let me ask something. Did you ever you had a chance to go and uh, drag race the car? 
No, not yet. Um, one day I want to though. One day I want to take it to the track and just to just to see my what my quarter mile is. You know, I think I think the stock quarter miles. I thought I, th I saw it was like around almost 13 seconds for a stock, which is not bad for a stock car. Um, but one day I want to do a quarter mile just to see where I go. You know, just that I want to do this after I modify the car. After you modify? Yeah, after. Do you want to try before and after? So you can see the difference? No, no, that's, that's a great idea, I should. So just see the difference, how much of a difference it'll be from just being stock and then being modified. So what do you think about the ride? It's, it's on the comfortable side, to be honest with you. Even though it has, it's like a sports car, it has stiff suspension. I feel really comfortable here at the back. The ride is not too bumpy. Uh, I don't feel a lot of response from, the, you know, the road cracks or, you know, I think I the really seats are very comfortable. That. They help. Yeah, I mean. The back seats are really comfortable. They're not um, Recaro seats. I'll be surprised if they're ones, The front ones, you tell me about the, you know, the front ones are Recaro seats. They're, they're, I was, when I was driving it, I was feeling super comfortable. No, the, the front seats. Yeah. I think the that car seats are way comfortable than the uh, STI seats. With yeah. Overall yeah. comfortability with the car. Before, the suspension is stiff, but the seats level. help a lot. So you don't get beat up by the roads and stuff. Yeah, I drove to Orlando there and back. And it was comfortable throughout the whole ride. And I didn't have to go out and go to my car and stretch or anything. It was, it was comfortable throughout the whole time. It was a very comfortable car. So, I mean, these cars are also good to go travel if you want to travel. They're very comfortable cars. I mean, you know, back seat, you have a, a lot of space in the back seat. All right, guys, I'm in the back of the Subaru. Um, I feel pretty comfortable. There's a lot of leg room, uh, a lot of headroom. Um, we also have back here two pockets behind the passenger and the driver's seat. Um, I really like uh, it's a really nice touch the fact that the for me, especially the belts are in red, red color. Um, you have like a little cubby right here. You can fit um, a small size cup. And down here, we don't have really any vents. Uh, this is Alcantara right here, as well as the, the left and the right back seat. And the seats are really comfortable. We have also an armrest right here. We took up holders, and that's it pretty much. Alright guys, thanks for watching, hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell, see you on the next video.